This is one of my family's favorite recipes, not only because it's refreshing and tasty, but because it's super simple and power packed with nutrients. It's a great summer salad and I guarantee the kids will love it. So we're gonna start with our dressing. Here I have two tablespoons of mustard. You can use gluten-free if you like. To this, we're gonna add two teaspoons of dried dill. If you wanna use fresh dill, you can use two tablespoons instead. Make sure you get all of that out of there. Then we're gonna add four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add a pinch of brown sugar. And then we're gonna add olive oil. Olive oil is made up of monounsaturated fatty acids, which are considered a healthy dietary fat. But even healthy fats are very high in calories, and thus we recommend using it in small quantities. So we'll add this in. And then we're just gonna whisk it all together. That's nicely mixed. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get started on our salad. So for the salad, first we need two crunchy tart apples. Today I am using Braeburn and we're just gonna dice them up. Now apples have a unique balance of phytonutrients that help with cardiovascular benefits as well as anti-cancer benefits. Most of the nutrition is found in the skin of the apple. So even if a recipe tells you to peel the apple, we recommend leaving the skin on. Next, we need to dice up one pear. Today I'm using an Anjou pear. Pears are a good source of vitamin C and copper. They are also high in fiber. Fiber is important because it's been shown that it helps to lower cholesterol. So again, even if a recipe asks to peel the pear, we recommend keeping that skin on because most of that fiber is found in that skin. So our pear is done. Put that out of the way. And next, we're going to thinly slice a cucumber. Now, cucumbers, the flesh is mainly water, but it's also very rich in vitamin C. And we're leaving the skin on because the skin is also very rich in fiber. So just finish dicing that part up. And then we're gonna move on to our onion. We're using a sweet onion today, so that's a yellow onion. I'm using half of an onion today. You could also use one small. Now onions are part of the allium family of vegetables. These vegetables have been shown to slow our growth of cancer cells, even when we consume them in moderate amounts. So throw them in your salads, people. Lastly, we're just gonna pour the dressing right on top and mix it all together. So just pour this right over. This smells delicious, I can't wait to try it. And then we're just gonna mix this all up. Now this salad serves about six people and only one serving is 160 calories. And just like that, our salad is done. Isn't that delicious?